Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a slightly different book review than I would normally do, and that is for kind of a like YA adjacent murder mystery thriller, <laughs> I guess you could say. This is You May Now Kill the Bride by Kate Weston. Kate Weston has previously, I believe, only written YA novels. This is her first adult fiction novel. I saw this at Politics and Prose, and I had seen it a couple other times in bookstores, and I wanted to pick it up because it just kind of looked really fun and ridiculous and up my alley. And after reading The Travesty, that was The Angel of Indian Lake, I really wanted just a kind of fun, silly palette cleanser um, to kind of get over the kind of like reading slump that that put me in. Getting through The Angel of Indian Lake took me way too long to read. Um, I have a whole almost 30 minute review on that video, so or on that book, so if you want to check that out, please do. But this I needed just to get me through the reading slump that I had. This is a very wacky, over the top, ridiculous mystery. Um, I was interested in reading it because obviously I do kind of like mystery thrillers, but I just recently had my own wedding. Um, a couple months ago, my best friend is getting married. I have a lot of weddings that I have to go to in the fall, so I really wanted something that was just about uh, this kind of satirical chaos that is being a bridesmaid <laughs> in a wedding. Um, I'm gonna read the back of the book for you guys, uh, and then we're gonna talk about it. And I have to, I have to put a lot of caveats on uh, my thoughts on this book, but we're gonna talk about it. So it says. The bride-to-be drops dead at her bachelorette weekend, with all her bridesmaids as suspects for her murder, in this wry thriller full of deadly twists and characters you'll love to hate. Who will be left standing when the bouquet is thrown? Lauren, Saskia, Dominica, Farah, and Tanzi have been, friend have been best friends since grade school. They wonder if that was the last time they all actually liked one another. As adults, their lives have splintered. Tanzi runs a vegan cafe and is preparing for a shotgun marriage to an awful Ivan. Farah is engaged and is fast becoming a complete bridezilla. Dominica is a successful divorce attorney with no time for anything but work. Lauren has had a total failure to launch in her career and love life, consumed by a man who has spent years stringing her along. Saskia has married into wealth in a different circle of friends in a fancy part of London. Some days it seems that the only thing holding the group together is an event that happened in their youth 20 years ago, an incident they've all sworn to keep secret in order to protect one another. When the group is reunited at Tansy's Bachelorette Come Wellness Retreat Weekend, it doesn't take long for old grudges to surface. Then the brides would be chokes to death on a poison drink, and all the bridesmaids are suspects. Kate Weston explores the complexities of female friendship in the searingly funny page-turning thriller. One of these bridesmaids may be a killer, and the rest had better watch their sash-covered backs because your oldest friends aren't always your closest. I think the most important part of the back of this book is the this the line where they say that this is full of characters you love to hate and i think that is so accurate because there really are absolutely no likable characters in this entire book um and sort of akin to rachel um harrison's writing where she really does not write characters that i've ever liked um but her plots and her tone and her voice they're just so funny and compelling i felt similar to this However, Rachel Harrison's books I think are pretty well written. This one was a jumbled mess and very much all, absolutely all over the place. Um, and I just still couldn't put it down. I was reading like over 100 pages a day. It's like 340 pages or so and I just, I devoured it. It is so ridiculous, it is so over the top, it is so funny that I didn't mind the poor writing. And another thing that I think I didn't mind about this either was the entire time this was happening, I didn't care about getting to the ending. I really didn't care who the big bad was gonna be. I didn't care who the murderer was gonna be. I didn't care about any of the twists because I was having so much fun reading about the absolute ridiculousness and it, that is the lives of our five main characters. Um, and even though um, Tansy does die in the first third of the novel, she still kind of remains a very much pivotal character throughout the book in a lot of flashbacks, so when I say all five, I do mean Tansy as well. Um, Saskia, I think, was absolutely my favorite. She just, I don't know why, but I just imagined her as Bev Keen, right? I think that's her name, right? Um, from Midnight Mass, and that's like all that I could see. She's this like blonde 
redhead, like she kind of switches between the two, kind of holier than thou, like upper crust, uh, <laughs> rich woman. Um, and I just loved reading about her, especially the first third when she's planning um, Tansy's Bachelorette. This is set in the UK, so they do call them Hindus, which I guess is like slang for a bachelorette over there, so that took me a second to figure out. Um, but her whole character story was just so ridiculous and funny and over the top and scandalous and absurdist and just like bizarre felt like it was written for reality tv and i absolutely loved reading about her farah i think made an absolutely incredible bridezilla just everything happening and the whole world turning upside down and the only thing she cares about is how it's going to affect her wedding i thought it was very well done and very satirical and how absurdist and over the top it was um Lauren really is, they kept calling her a wet blanket, and I have to say she kind of was the wet blanket for the vast majority of the book. I did feel myself kind of rolling my eyes every single time I read about her. Um, Tansy really is kind of the most self-centered, narcissistic person, I think, out of the bunch. Uh, I'm reading just how all of the main characters did actually have, like, background motives to take her out I thought was really really funny and kept you guessing throughout the whole time and then you get to Dominica who kind of reminds me a lot of Samantha Jones in Sex and the City um but a little bit more unhinged like I just really really enjoyed reading about these characters they were very well developed they were very fleshed out they felt like just absolutely absurdist people that you definitely run into in real life but you wouldn't ever want to be friends with and one of my favorite moments in the book and this is just a minor 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 spoiler um, it won't really ruin the book, but there, there's a scene where somebody's trying to get them all to turn against each other and by like lying, laying out all of the horrible things that they've done to one another and they all just kind of stop and they're just like, we're very much aware that we're bad people, like that's part of this friendship, like we know we suck, uh, so like everything you're saying like doesn't matter and I thought that was so funny. Um, and I just really, really enjoyed this book. So this was a four star read for me. However, the caveat for this is I think I enjoyed it just because I needed something to enjoy after reading The Angel of Indian Lake. I think in reality, this is probably closer to a three star. It's really an underwhelming twist. It's really an underwhelming like slasher almost because all of these characters just start like dropping dead. Um, but it definitely it definitely gave me what I needed having read a book that I really really didn't like and I think it was more about diving into who these characters were like I would absolutely watch an episodic tv show about the characters in the story and just how ridiculous they are um again I'm a huge sex in the city fan so I definitely saw kind of like these glimmers of like Charlotte and Carrie and Samantha Jones in here and to an extent Miranda primarily just because again none of these characters are good people but interesting things are happening that I was very much wrapped up in um so as a like kind of murder mystery it's not great but it's like a very fun palette cleanser beach read I had so much fun with this and just there are so many ridiculous things that come with like weddings and bridal showers and bridezillas and bridesmaids and all of that jazz and just having it all just very satirically laid out in this absolutely absurdist story I was just I loved it. I absolutely, absolutely loved it. I love the critique on influencers. Um, there's this great line where they call this one girl an influencer and she snaps back and she's like, I'm sorry, I'm a content creator. And I just thought that was just so, so funny. So again, if you like Rachel Harrison and you want something that is kind of in that vein, but a little less serious and a little poorly written, this is definitely worth picking up. But I have to be honest, like it was a four star read because it worked for me. But if I was to look at this very objectively and not subjectively for when I was reading it, it's probably close to a three star read. Definitely one of the weaker mysteries I've read. And then when the reveal happened, I was kind of like, yeah, I don't think I saw that coming, but I just didn't care. And now that it's here, I'm like, it makes sense. Like the ending, ending was like just ridiculous, but all in good fun. So four stars, definitely worth checking out if that is something that you were interested in. Um, but otherwise, definitely, if you're more into like the horror sphere, like what I normally review on this channel, probably not going to be your vibe. Anyway, that is all that I have for you guys today. As always, I try to post every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on Saturday. And if you enjoy these videos, um, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, and I will catch you on the next one.